So I wanted to talk basically how people tend to tell me a lot of times, especially my investors, oh, stock market is too volatile and you don't see any price jumps up or down or you know whichever way with real estate. That's the reason why I love real estate. And I just, I always think, well, that's not true, number one, uh, because of the very simple fact that the way we price or the way we look at price in these assets, real estate versus say the stock market, is very different. So in the stock market, this is not a new concept. I'm sure most people already know this. Stock market is what's happening is that everything is being marked to market. What that basically means is that we have a deep buyer and seller pool because it's very liquid. So at every second or every nanosecond, whatever is the interval, you can already see what in the market people are willing to pay for that for a certain asset, a stock or a bond or a mutual fund ETF, whatever it is. But in real estate, what happens is a real valuation of what the market is actually going to pay only occurs when we want to actually go sell. Now, in the process, during a holding period, we can basically assess the value given what our opinion of what the market cap rate is and all of those other sort of things. Or we can go off a broker's opinion of value or just our calcs. But at the end of the day, we still don't know what the market price is. That's why we typically a lot of times have an on-market sort of, mar the whole marketing process happens, right? When you have these multifamily and other big commercial assets. So the big point is just because you don't, or I don't see any, um, say price movements up or down, uh, does it every day uh, on say a computer screen, doesn't necessarily mean the price of real estate is stable. It's just an illusion. Uh, because if we were to price it, and we can see this, by the way, with the way real estate companies that are publicly listed, their stocks go up and down. And if you think about it, I mean, they're the big assets that they have are real estate. So by that logic, the stock price shouldn't be going up or down. But because real estate in and of itself is not very liquid, or you can't just go like that, snap your fingers, click a sell button and it's sold. Therefore, a lot of times we get into this illusion or rather the mental comfort of thinking that real estate isn't volatile. Whereas like all businesses, like all assets, especially in this interconnected economy, real estate can be very volatile. It can be very safe as well. And if you buy it correctly, there's lots of benefits to getting real estate. I and mean, look, I'm a real estate sponsor. I love real estate, but I don't like to give these sort of hokey, uneducated sort of uh, opinions and commentaries to people to kind of give let them go to sleep at night just because they think something. Real estate is as volatile as pretty much any other business. Now, what happens though typically is that with the stock market, we can see these things going up or down. But with the real estate, we might have years of say, what seems like a bull market and then a sudden drop like we saw in 2008. And by the way, the savings and loan crisis and multiple other crises before that. So please get this idea out of your head that real estate prices uh, aren't volatile. They don't go ever go down or if they go down, they maybe just go down like this. They can have and will go down dramatically. This is where dealing with an experienced sponsor with a great track record, with a great professional, I mean, with not just a great track record, which is very important, but also the professional jobs to manage through the volatility comes very, very, very handy.